In this video, if you guys have ever been confused as to how to pose couples for your engagement shoot, well, I've got the answers, so stick around. What's up guys, my name is Pi. Welcome to SR Lounge. If you guys are new here, this is your place for no-nonsense photography education. I use that term loosely. I always give that disclaimer. So we're gonna jump in though, and I have Maury and Courtney helping us out. They are a real life couple, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So check this out. We have just arrived on our engagement shoot, and here's the deal. Most of our clients, they're not models, right? They're not people that are experienced in front of a camera. And so they always tell us like, well, we don't necessarily feel comfortable in front of a camera, but we want images that look authentic. They look natural in the moment. And that's kind of a challenging thing for us as photographers because, well, how do you do that? Well, we're gonna start with the very beginning of this shoot. And the reason why I like to start with the foundation posing framework is because coming out of the car, like just arriving, when we meet for the first time, if this is like kind of the first time we've met since our client meeting, well, there's a lot of pressure in like getting to know each other and trying to like just jump straight into the shoot. So instead of doing that, I like to just kind of start by teaching you guys kind of a posing system. This does a couple different things. It helps us, number one, we create a common vocabulary with our clients where we can pose and direct them and I don't have to say like weird things like just hold hands and look natural like how do you hold hands and look natural just uh, uh hold hands and and then and, and, and kiss do something like this is what we would normally be doing from the other side of the camera right yeah. there are so many different interpretations of these things and without like having a common vocabulary it's difficult to get those across so we start with this and this does a couple different things in addition to that vocabulary it also helps to kind of establish a bit of authority i can kind of show a little bit of warmth and we kind of build this, well, I kind of have, the, you're, you're putty in my hands, right? And, and I get to help take these pictures and you kind of build a little bit of confidence in allowing me to take these pictures. So the next thing it's gonna do as well is it gives you time to kind of break the ice a little bit. We don't have this pressure of just jumping into getting to know each other. We kind of take our time with that. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, Courtney, I'm gonna have you step off for just one second. We're gonna start with Mari first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys the crash course version, meaning this is the version that I would give to every single client on the shoot. Inside of Premium, we have the complete posing and directing courses that guides you through every bit of understanding body language and all those different things, but I'm not gonna say all those things to my clients. It's gonna be rather uncomfortable. Instead, I'm gonna give them the short abbreviated version just to kind of help jump in. So let's start with that. Mari, so for guys, honestly, a lot of us like to stand with our feet pointing straight forward or even sometimes in. Um, you're not doing that right now, but it has this tendency to like make us look like we have to go to the bathroom or something, you know? So what I want is to kind of have a nice open stance. Your toes kind of go out, shoulder width apart, and you can kind of lean from one hip to the other. It's totally fine. Working our way up, we call this foundation posing because it begins with the feet, right? Mm -hmm. So the feet is our foundation. So working our way up with the hands, well, we just need to do something with them other than just letting them hang at the sides. Okay. Oddly enough, all we have to do really is just pose one hand. So if I put one hand in the pocket and let the other one fall on my side, it actually looks very natural, but it just looks weird if I have both hands on the side. Of so once Courtney steps back in, once we do our, our photographs, usually you know one or both hands are gonna be posed appropriately on her, or if they're at the side, just make sure one's in the pocket. Okay. I'll help remind you as we go through all this too. Now, moving our way back up. So speaking of the lumbar spine, if I actually turn sideways and you turn sideways, so a lot of us will, when we work at a computer, what do you usually do? So yeah, you're kind of slouching, you have that curve in the spine, right? Um, I'm kind of touchy-feely, I kind of point at things. Are you okay with that? Okay, so, so the lumbar spine, this lower spine right here, we want that curve in that spine. So I want you to kind of think of a, a smile, a curve in that lower spine. And then in the thoracic and cervical spine, you kind of straighten those out. So imagine a string pulling you up from the top of your head. Cool. Before a photograph, usually I like to ask guys to take a breath just like you did right now and it kind of helps to expand the chest. And this is it. So what I'm gonna do now is I want you to see what this looks like if you were to kind of put all these things together. So I'm gonna take a picture of you doing everything wrong, then we're gonna do it all right, okay? So look at me for one sec. 
Okay, now I'm gonna have you do is do the same thing. I want you to go feet with shoulder width apart. Give me a little bit of an angle on the body. Put one hand in the pocket. There you go, expand the chest a little bit. Stand up tall. Okay, Okay. so check this out. You, you look great in this first shot, but look at the second shot. Ooh. Do you see a difference in confidence and presence in that second oh, shot? Yeah. That's crazy, right? Because it's such a subtle change, but it makes such a dramatic difference in the way the photograph comes out. Cool. So let's bring Courtney into this. Mari, you can step out. All right. So Courtney, yeah. for the ladies, things are a little bit more complicated, <laughs> as, as usual. So, so look, for, for guys, usually the goal is um, kind of creating a sense of masculinity and presence, right? Yeah. So, Honestly, that same rule applies to anybody. So if I was actually to pose you and I wanted to create more presence and strength in a photograph, I would do the same things with him. Okay. So if we started like that, I would actually have you kick the hip out and like legs wide and kind of open up the chest. And this is like our classic like Beyonce pose, that yeah. strong <laughs> kind of, right? So the other way though is we pose to create femininity or we kind of diminish and show curve, right? And the way that we do this is almost the opposite. So. For you, since you're in this dress and since we're, we're gonna be kind of showing to kind of reveal that femininity, I want to have a kick to the hip. And with the feet, instead of extending them out, you're gonna bring it in, okay? Let this knee, the one that I don't have weight on, drop right across and come in. Perfect, just like that. Now what this does is it creates a natural hourglass shape in your hips. Yeah, so, so weird. It is it weird? So you're used to the strong vibe then. Yeah. We might have to do some of that too. Yeah. Okay. So as we work our way, but but a lot of us think that the hourglass shape is created by the like the model is it's actually not. It's not it's not the body uh -huh. as it is because when you stand flat footed, nobody's gonna look have that hourglass shape. Okay. It's actually created from the pose. So okay. when they actually bring the hip out uh -huh. and they bring the knee across, that creates our taper points and we get that kind of widening of the hips, okay. narrowing at the knees, and we get the hourglass shape. Working our way up to our hands, uh -huh. what I want to make sure is that if you're looking right at the camera, uh -huh. there's always space between the arms so I can see through. Okay. So again, going back to that strong stance like this, uh -huh. like that would be a very common thing that you might see a model do, but it's a little yeah. bit strong for like engagement photographs, right? Yeah. Um, but it does work. Uh -huh. What I'm going to do instead is just say when you're relaxing and your hands are at your sides, uh -huh. just use your, your fingers and draw a finger up. So it kind of creates a little gap between the elbows. So is it okay if I kind of yeah, insert? Yeah. So as long as I can stick a hand through that spot and see okay. the background, uh -huh. the camera can see the form. Otherwise, it kind of looks like your, your chest goes from one arm to the other. Okay. So again, when we're creating presence, uh -huh. that's not a bad thing that our chest looks like it goes from one side to the other, right? Yeah. When we're trying to create femininity and curves, okay. well, then we want to have some space so we can actually see the body. Cool? Yeah. So particularly for this dress, we're gonna pay attention to that because any loose fabric, if it's connecting, it'll make it look like the chest goes from one side to the other. Okay. Cool. And then what does the other hand do? It's kind of just like the with Mari, like the other hand is kind of relaxed. Okay. Um, oftentimes since you have a dress, I'll have you like kind of hold onto the dress from the backside a little bit. Okay. Exactly, just like that. Okay. okay. And then same thing for the spine. So you're gonna imagine that string kind of pulling you up and elongating you a little bit. So let's do this. I'm gonna take a shot of you not doing any of those things. Okay. Just standing normal, hands at the sides. Perfect. Now, go ahead and kick the hip. Which side are you comfortable with? That one? Okay. Yeah. Now, bring the knee across. Like yep. So you're gonna have the knee kind of go across the center. Oh, okay. There okay. you go. And you even have a slit in the dress, so why don't we show the knee there? There you go, perfect. Okay. So bring it across a little bit more. Like you can exaggerate, like kick the hip and exaggerate the toe coming across. There you go. Now hold the dress on the this side. This side. Oh my God. <laughs> and then give me a little bit of space on this arm on that side. Okay. So open the elbow out just a little bit. On this side. Yes, okay. just like that. Perfect. Open the elbow a little bit more. There you go, perfect. I love that. <laughs> okay, now check this out. Look at this. Oh wow. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what we just did for you individually, uh -huh. I'm gonna have you guys remember that throughout our entire shoot, okay? I'll help remind, so don't <laughs> worry. But I'm gonna bring both of you back in. So Mari, come in now. With both of you guys together, I'm gonna give you five foundation poses. So again, we call it that because it's based on your feet positions. Okay. And here's the deal, we've kind of through research and studying, we found that almost every single pose for two people together will start with one of these five positions. They're really easy to remember. Okay. 
So first, do you guys have typical sides that you might stand on, like when you're together? Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Perfect. Let's play into our sides. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with the V up. So okay. for the V up, Mari, your arm is gonna go around her hip and pull Courtney in. There you go. Courtney, your hand just relaxes behind his body. Okay. There you go. And then you can bring the one hand to rest kind of at that and pocket if you want to, Mari. Um, but that is the V up where your shoulders are essentially making a V in the back. Okay. okay. And then your feet kind of point in towards each other, just like you're doing right now. And that would be the shot that we would be looking directly in the camera. In fact, I might even get that shot right now. Okay. Move, bro. Come on. There you go. Mari, stand up a little bit taller. Tilt the head slightly toward. There you go. Right there. A little bit less. Bring it back a little bit. There you go. Right there. This is the red carpet shot. This is the shot that like every celebrity is gonna do when they're walking on the red carpet because it does a few things. It makes your dresses look great. So your outfits are gonna look fantastic. We get a straight up portrait. It's that traditional kind of shot, right? Yeah. But it's also the beginning of what we do for our pose because I can do something very simple. I could tell you guys the back where your shoulders are touching, I want you to imagine that that's the hinge on a door, okay? So from there, and I've never, I've never done this with you guys before, right? Yeah, no. Okay. From there, if you imagine the shoulders a hinge on a door and I said, Mari, if I wanted you to open a little bit, what do you think that means? Yes. If I said, close Mari a little bit. Yes. If I said, a little bit. <laughs> if I said, Courtney, close. Perfect. Courtney, open. Perfect. Now, if I said, guys, go into a closed pose and hold hands, what do you think that would mean? Perfect, okay. perfect. So your chests are, are basically facing each other. You're closed off from the camera, right? Okay. So I could say go into a closed pose and hug each other. Perfect. So the closed pose is the second one, okay? okay? Now, using that logic, if I said go into an open pose and hold hands in the center facing the camera, what would that look like? Perfect. So that's your open pose. The chests are open to the camera, right? Let me take these shots real quick so we have them. So go into that closed pose and hug onto each other. Um, I want you guys to actually look at each other on this one. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. Cute. Okay, now go to that open pose and hold hands right there. Fantastic. Now let's do what we call stacked. So stacked is where one person's feet is essentially stacked in front of the other one, right? So if we're looking like this. So we had open where you're facing the camera, closed. We had the V up where you're kind of turning in towards each other, right? Now, your back goes into his chest. Okay. So, it would, would he be facing this way? So, he's still facing the camera. Okay. So, then I would go. There you go. So, now you're okay. stacking on each other. Okay. The way that we turn this into an awkward prom photograph is how? Do you remember? Do you know Should prom? It like that. What? It's been a long it's been a long, It can't have been that long. Can. Isn't it a prom? Like, this, right? like, like you hug her on the belly. There you go. <laughs> Did you say ew? Yeah. <laughs> ew. No. Okay, no, that's, no. that's the prom slash maternity photograph, right? Yeah. Okay. So instead of stacking where you're directly behind, what I usually like to do is say, Mario, I'm gonna have you turn the chest this way. She's gonna stack right in front and you're gonna hold hands right here. And okay. then and then Courtney, sca scoot this way a little bit. Okay. Basically, so we have some overlap, but not completely overlap, right? Okay. So you're kind of Just sticking like out. Stack. So come out a little bit more. There you go, right there. Okay. So this would be our stack shot. Now, from here, I would say, okay, Courtney, look down and towards your left. Mari, look towards her. And both of you guys smile. Mari, hide the hand on her hip and relax the hand, Courtney, on his hand. There you go. Yep, right there. There you go. And then, Courtney, you just relax that hand on your right, your right hand. There you go. That's it. So, so that's going to be our stack shot. The last okay. one is just reversed. Okay. Reverse means, so stack was feet on top of each other. Uh -huh. Reverse means one person is facing the other way. Okay. So you're just going to face the other way, Mari. This is where she's going to hug onto your arm so, and you're facing so, the camera. And I would go in front of him? No, you're just going to stand oh, right there on his side okay. and then hold onto his arm, like hug on both hands. Okay. There. And then Mari, look towards her, put your hand in the pocket. There you go. Hug in tight, girl. Go in. There you go. Yeah, that one. Yep. And that's where we'd get like, usually from this angle, we're going to shoot up close. So hug onto his arm right there. Okay. And I love that. Just like that, Mari looked towards her smiling. Love that. Perfect. So the great part about this is now I don't have to use things that you guys would have to guess, right? If I said, 
guys uh, hold hands and kiss, there's a lot of different ways to do that. And yeah. it would be up to interpretation, right? Yeah. Um, hold hands and walk or just hug each other or act natural. Uh -huh. Now I can literally say, Mari, reverse. Courtney, I want you to hug onto his arm, lean your head against him. Mari, look towards her and smile. That's it. And I can get this beautiful implied shot with kind of Mari in the background of this. Mari, go into a V up. Perfect. From that V up, I want both you guys to look into the camera. Beautiful. Smile, Mari. There it is. Now, guys, from right there, look at each other. I love that. Actually, complete that closed pose and pull her in from the hip. Pull her into you. Perfect. Just like that. I'm going to work in a little bit tighter. Perfect. We begin with the foundation posing framework, literally the first thing on every single shoot. All of our photographers are instructed to do it, and we generally do it with our cameras down. The only reason I took these pictures is that so we can demonstrate it and show it in the video. But this process did three things. Number one, it created a vocabulary, something that they could understand where I can actually give them direction and guidance from the other side of the camera, focusing on cueing the right expressions, which we'll talk about in another video. But now they're not guessing based on vague commands that I would be giving them. They know exactly what to do throughout the rest of our shoot. Number two, well, we create authority and we create that kind of sense of, you can trust me, I know what I'm doing, and we're gonna have a great time throughout the rest of the shoot. And the ice is already broken as we kind of go in. And that's number three is, I'm not pressured to kind of just jump out of the car and just start getting great images, right? Yeah. It's more of like, we're gonna warm up to it. And by the time we finish, now we're gonna walk to our first location. I can focus on getting to know you guys better and chatting and building our relationship. And then we're gonna go straight into our shoot. I hope you all found this helpful. And if you did, I'd love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. You guys can like the video, comment below on what you guys would like to see in the future. In addition, look, I'm gonna say this right from the top. If you can't afford it, obviously don't go and pay for our premium education. But if it's in the budget, well, we have an entire library of education that will cost literally nothing compared to the gear that you're already buying. And it's gonna help you to not only create the images that you want to create, but if you want to become a portrait photographer, a wedding photographer, it's gonna teach you everything you need to run a successful business in addition to all the lighting, composition, and photography education that you need. So you can check that out on srloungeworkshops.com. You guys can follow Courtney and Mari. We're gonna link their info below, and you can also follow me at Pygersa, and I'll see you guys in the next video.